come with me to pack and prep for a barrel race. First, I'm gonna fill up some hay nets. this thingy on my hay bag because it has rings and it's really convenient when you tie it up. Also one thing I really like about this hay bag is it has like a net at the bottom so I can soak my hay with no problem. I'm now going to get Jocko so I can ride him and put his tail in a tail bag and put his matching flat mask on. Jocko's literally so shiny right now. It's incredible. And of course he has to poop. Like he's so shiny. He was being so cute. I'm letting him go at whatever speed he wants to. Cause he's a really good boy. He's a very good boy. I love him. I love him. Boy. Right here, he was just begging to have an edit made of him. So I did make an edit of him. I did a simple three strand braid and put it in Pendleton Hot Head Stall's tail bag. I threw on my saddle pad and my saddle. And now I am stitching him up. I sent him out loosely while he's just standing there and I'm gonna put on all four and bell boots. Okay, sorry, but he is just looking so gorgeous in those all four black swim boots and his black bell boots from Professional Choice. That Pendleton tail bag from Hot Heads Dolls just popped on him. So here I was tightening up his cinch before I got on because it was loose when he was just standing there. We did some long trotting, walking, and some shopping, and he did really good. Sorry about the loud music, but this is going on right now. We're, they're ripping. Um, I took the boots off <laughs> so I could cool down, and he did really good. I'm very proud of him. I attacked him, so now I'm going to put on his fly mask and his bell boots. I'm putting on his hot hair stars, Pendleton fly mask.
put on his bell boots, and I'm just making like less work that I have to do in the morning. I love you. Now he's snacking on some hay. Normally I would feed him alfalfa hay, but the place where we got our hay and feed from does not have alfalfa hay right now. Um, it, we, it's very hard to like find places that have alfalfa hay, because they don't make it here. So it's very rare that we get some. So there he is just snacking on some hay with his bell boots on. But yeah, he's a happy little boy. And then he got hay on it. But whenever my dad gets done riding red, I'm going to brush him off, put his fly mask on, and let him out. This is his fly mask. The no bag red wear and the fly mask that red will wear. And then Jocko will be wearing the Pendleton. And I'm going to pack stuff in the trailer. So I have both my saddles in here, and then I'm gonna hang up my, well, I'm gonna put my breast collar on the top saddle. This is a flag. I don't wanna talk about how long it took me to do that, but it took a long time with one hand, so. Jocko. I'm saying congratulations to myself and look at Jocko being so cute. Look at my little boy being so cute. He's so cute. So one minute he's fine and the next minute he's limping. <laughs> okay, so Red's not going because he's limping. So Jocko, it's up to you. Sorry, buddy. He should sorry. And that means I have to decide um, what color I want to do. Black or red, split bits. Um, I'll post a poll on my YouTube and my Instagram so y'all can decide what color split bits. Okay. So right now I'm putting one of the hay bags and the tacker in for when he gets done. Hey, red. Ready, red, red. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. It's pretty cold out here, so I'm wearing a hoodie. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this right to there. There we go. That fit in perfect. Okay. Now I gotta move Jocko's hay bag to the front because Mr. Red isn't going. And then I also have to pack feed and make feed. So. Where I'm gonna go. Boom. Chocolate locket, okay. Um, because this thing is so easy. I don't know where I got this thing. I just found it around the house one day and I decided to use it for a bucket holder for a bucket strap uh, let me just end this one. Oh, I already got it okay you don't mind the amount of shavings in here 
it's not a long haul. So my dad didn't worry about it. Oh yeah. bucket right there for some reason I don't know what now I have to load his now I have, have to load his feed and get him some feed right now well, I don't have buckets well I forgot the buckets before now I have buckets I so two scoops of growing XL so. oh I need to make him up I made him some cubes. And I got something on my shoe. It's a spider web. And so that was a purpose for that flat bucket because I'm just going to pour this in there. Somehow. I'm not feeding Jocko when we get there because he's going to be snacking on some hay. But when he gets done running, we're going to. Well, when he gets done with the day, we're going to give him. Two more scoops of growing XL. And then on the way home, he'll snap on some hay. Alright, and that's it. Right now, I got to go get Jocko, put his tail bag on, and load him, and then we'll be on our way. So obviously Jocko's a show jumper now in case you didn't know. So when we got there I didn't record us tacking up or brushing off because we were late. So I'll just show y'all our runs. Me and Brookie made this really cute video. I'll show y'all. Okay, this is me and Jocko's Texas barrels. So here this is. Okay, but let's talk about him coming back from that third barrel. Okay, this is our speed barrel. This is poles. We broke the pattern. But yeah, I'm really, really proud of him because he tried his absolute best. Okay, this was the last event, our barrel run. He did break pattern at the second, but, um, well, he did the second beautifully, but my dad did get, get on video, and then he went straight back to the first barrel, 
and so he went across the timer line. And so we just circled around and went to our third. He had a really pretty third, but otherwise I'm really proud of him. It was raining, so I didn't get us unpacking or feeding him on camera. So that was it, and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.